Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that the show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready. Let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I am Chip. I'm Cern. And... <laughs> <laughs> and you are listening to the Chip and Cern Show. Welcome, young and old, old and new. It's beer 30. Perfect. There you go. There, there we go. go. What are we drinking today? Uh, today? Some Tsunami. Sonoma Springs Brewing Co. Tsunami. Sessions IPA Ale. Now, Sessions Ale... I do like. It's usually lighter. Is that correct? Or Yeah. Okay. I made that up, but thank you. Um, well, I was drinking. I was like, oh, it's not that heavy. Yeah. I think it says uh, 4.8%. This is a tall yeah, can. So nice 16 ouncer. I got this at Costco. Ooh. Spoiler alert. Anyway, we're here to talk about... Costco, not a sponsor. No, yet. not yet. They're on the... It's in sh- the works. They're on the short list. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to talk about a good chip and stern show crutch baseball. Oh. It's an easy... But this takes a little bit of a different angle. Uh, friend of the show, friend okay. of the Chip and Cern show, wow. wrote an article recently on Medium. And he's uh, RZ Cole on Medium, which is a blogging platform. You can write all sorts of cool shit and people can, you know, like it and heart it and share it around. Okay. Article reads, is the kid ready for Bull Durham? <sighs> One of the potentially the most iconic baseball movies of of all. Okay. Is the kid ready for Bull Durham? And uh, five baseball films he plans to share with his son and one to grow on. So he starts off right away. His kid is eight. Okay. Bull Durham's probably not right for the eight-year-old, I'm guessing. No. So the Chip and Cern show will go through, and we will look through his list. We'll comment. We'll discuss. We'll discuss. Uh, we'll we'll drop some knowledge and shit on there. Um, <laughs> Chip and Cern's knowledge. Yeah. Which and may be fake news, but... It could be <laughs> fake news. Hold on. Fake news, fake news, fake news. There you go. Thank you, Cerny. So, just off the top of your head, or sh- um, should we go through his list, or do you want to go through just off the top of your head what you would say is some of your top baseball movies? Uh, go through his list first. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Let me move it here. We're missing our, our normal, like, shared screen. Cerny and I oh, have, like, a shared we screen we that do. we could look at it. <coughs> it's okay. So uh, if you want to follow more of this uh, great works of, of uh, oh writing, oh. writing, reading, and arithmetic, <laughs> uh, RZ Cole on uh, Twitter. And on Medium. He's a friend of the Chip and Cern show. Anyway, uh, so the kid's eight. Do we want to take the angle of should an eight-year-old be watching the movie or just review his, his top movie? Um, since he's writing as a, as a showing to an eight-year-old. That's a father. Th- okay. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I don't have an eight-year-old. I have a toddler. One, let's say two. So we'll you like have project s- it. Yeah. You can kind of. Yeah. Let's do this. You're kind of there. You got this. Okay. Sandlot. Absolutely. That, Absolutely. I mean, I would say that's probably the first one. one yes. Movie. That's number one. And for an eight-year-old, I think that's number one. And uh, that came out in 1993. Damn. Wow. Damn. Old. Where is it? Old AF. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I mean, I would say Sandlot probably, is it the most iconic baseball movie? Like I got it. Th- it's it's up there, yeah. I'm it's gonna say be. that in like a league of their own. Oh, yeah. maybe <laughs> league of their own. I mean, how many times I've seen Sandlot? Probably half oh, a dozen, a dozen yeah, times, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. The dog and yeah, when they're Hercules chewing the, the and chewing, chewing the tobacco. The big on, Chief. Yeah, the Big Chief, <laughs> and they're on the roller coaster and squints yeah. and like First all off, these no, guys. Nobody barbs from uh, leaf leaf that's tobacco. True. I'm just telling you right now. Should throw a lip of skull in your pussy. Yeah, that's fake news. But um. 
Now, and the one Benny, Wendy, Wendy Peppercorn. Yeah, she was I a think babe, so. right? She was. And uh, I would have tried. That's a, that was a bold move. That was Making a bold move. A drowning. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? And in, in this day, and age, what that would do to you? There was a few lines. Where you remember they're doing the uh, the shit talking with the with the kids on the bikes. You see, you play ball with your girl. Oh yeah. Oh oh. oh. No. Like, oh there's no way that's, that's far today. No way that's far today. I would say, I mean, Sandlot is uh, th- probably the first movie that I would. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. And it, did it remind you a lot of when you were watching it? And I don't remember th- what age I was when I f- saw this movie, but oh, do I. it was very much like when you would kind of play those pickup. Like I remember playing wiffle ball with my brother in the front yard and it was a lot of the same similarities there even you know practice and little league like yeah a lot of the same kind of scrappy stuff and i remember playing out in the street with with neighborhood kids and stuff yeah yeah yep so i think sandlot's there the dog the dog ended up not being so scary no not hercules no and uh baby ruth and then there was a darth vader huh james Earl jones oh right okay the witch that's right james Earl jones all right, so we uh, RZ Cole, we sign off on your sandwich. Cosign. It's uh, co-signed. Uh, that's his number one movie. On, or I assume yeah. it's number one. It's his first up. Yeah, Chip and Cern, co-signed. I mean, that, you're welcome, because that's going to fucking <laughs> sky. I don't even know what that's going to do to your career. That <laughs> co-sign. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, number d- two, A League of Their Own. Came out in 1992. Wow. Uh, this is a uh, Rosie O'Donnell flick. Madonna. Uh, uh, I have a truth bomb. Okay. Never seen it. Oh. <laughs> I have seen it. Never and seen I it. do co-sign with this. It's actually a decent movie. Um, the the best line I always remember from this movie is... Tom Hanks. Uh, Tom Hanks with, with the umpire with the little hat. Okay. He's arguing with him. He says... Did anybody tell you look with a penis with a hat on or some shit? <laughs> That's pretty uh, good. I yeah. need to. Is it? Wor- should I watch it now? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually a good movie. Yeah. Okay. It's about. Um, I'm sure I may fuck up some facts here, but I think it's from when the uh, when the men went out to war in World War Two, oh. so they could not play. So then they had to have women play in their place. So it's or the WNBA like of the MLB. Exactly. We saw how that turned out. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll watch it then. It's probably on Netflix, I'm sure. Uh, Gina Davis. Gina Davis, Madonna, Tom Hanks. Before she was fat. Oh, is she fat now? I think she was fat now. I think she's fat now. G E E N A Davis. Take a look. Uh, let me see. Oof. I mean, she's 61. She's six foot tall too. So yeah, she's, she's, she's just a big girl. But. Uh, Take a look at her from League of Their Own. And you're like, oh. She She's was had like four the husbands. Oh, okay. She's she was like the stud of the team. Yeah. She looks. She's got a Bruce Jenner look to her, <laughs> or Caitlyn Jenner rather. Um, <laughs> no. I don't think she. <laughs> she never really. I don't see any huge pictures of her. Rose O'Donnell was probably oh, the biggest. Who's hideous? Yeah. Um. Okay, League of Their Own. Do we co-sign with this? I've never co-sign. seen it, so I'm going to say I co-sign. Yeah. So Cerny Cern, co-signs? Cern co-signs. All right. Cern co-signs. Well, that was, that's two for two. Uh, number three, The Bad News Bears, 1976. Yeah. So a bit before our time. I think I have seen the original. And I did they remake it? I never saw the remake. I would not. I think I saw the remake as well. I want to say it had like Billy Bob Thornton in it or some bullshit. Oh, like I that. think you're right. Oh, it came out in 2005. Yep, Billy Bob Thornton. I did not see that. I th- I've seen the one with uh, the fucking guy Walter from Garfield Man. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, I, I'll go with this. Okay, let me see the. There's a movie in my head that I always watch. I'll, I'll wait till the end and see if it comes in. Um, it's a. I always watch this piece of movie okay. for some reason. I just okay. have a love affair with it. And it's, it's probably, it's lame as fuck, but it's just in my head. Now, the Bad News Bears is about a coach. He's like a drunk drinking and beer yeah, and yeah. shit in the dugout and smoking, ripping heaters and stuff. <laughs> um, 
So okay. Now I think that was. The uh, kids are the kids are shitty. And I get it. it. I don't remember. Like, do they come back and do they are they do I they think win? Th- I think so. I I don't. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie, so I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Again, it's some of the, it's one of those things. I think today. Oh, it, I mean, shit! I can't even. I can't yeah. even question the fucking umpire at a, at a league. I can't even you say. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say that. And here, like, what did Walter Math out? I mean, he, oh, he, he probably spit on him and motherfucked him up and down. <laughs> and drinking beers and smoking haters. Yeah. He'd be fucking <laughs> handcuffed and taken away. That reminds me. Remember that summer league we did when we went to, I think it was Arizona, or maybe it was Florida. <coughs> I think it was Arizona. And we got, we were getting our asses kicked yeah. by probably 10, 11 runs. Yeah. And we were reading a magazine, <laughs> spinning right. us. That's we that's we that's made that's a sunflower right. seed ball, <laughs> and we got <laughs> we got our asses ripped so yeah. hard by the Now coach. this is Chip and Stern, where we're playing a summer league. This is in Arizona. I remember that. How we're probably we were like sixteen, so- yeah, sophomores, juniors, yeah. and we were playing college kids. Remember? And it was wood this, bat. Tourneys. This is an American Legion. This is like advanced yeah. traveling team baseball. Like a lot of these guys that we're playing with are like. Hey, you're kind of playing this in this league, sort of, to kind of get scouted, get and sc- or yeah, get scouted, find a college coach so he can see you play, so you can get a yeah. good college scholarship. And I mean, I pitched, and Cerny played infield and and hit, and we we weren't in obviously, and we, <laughs> oh my god, we yeah, were, were getting we were our fucking benched. asses kicked. Yeah, we I mean, on that team that we played on, three or four people got drafted, right? At least I think so. Yeah. I mean, a couple of people did, and they're yeah. like not like the last pick either. No, um, and I mean, one guy even played in the sh- in the show, but uh, Cerny and I were the bears of the bad news. Yeah, we were. <laughs> we were the and bear. we got it because when we walked up, they gave us what did they give us? They gave us like a magazine, right? Like a, a oh yeah, baseball yeah, yeah. magazine. We were just we, fucking we took around. It out we were eating a hot dog oh too, weren't we? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! We were horsing around. Yeah. Chip and Cerny don't take shit too many things seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Much to everyone's chagrin. <laughs> okay, bad news bears. Right, I'll I'll co-sign. sign off. Yeah. Now hold on. Now at eight year old. Yeah. Fuck it. Well, I mean, it's not too bad. Yeah, because I guess he eight year old might see dad it's, uh, drink. It's not like it's not like he, you know we watch him like, cornhole some mom or something like that. You know. Oh. So. Oh. Hey, little Billy, is coach uh, here. <laughs> little Billy's uh, struggling. Uh, how would you come over Sorry, my house? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, and they're all kind of a ragamuffin. I think the uh, eight-year-old would. I mean, they would watch. I don't know if they would. Some of those movies I think are a little slow for well, it's, yeah, today. So I think, yeah. but all right, I, I co sign. Yes, bad news bears. Okay, strap them down, tape their fucking eyelids open, to make them like a uh, Clockwork Orange. Yes. All right, number four or number two. Depending on how this uh, RZ Cole is, is doing it, Field of Dreams, Kevin Costner, yes, Heartthrob, cosign. I do cosign. White, t- white, just so you get the. Everyone always says, "Build it, and they will come." You know that. Yeah. That, yeah okay. Just it's get that. The yeah. uh, what's that? Hold on. Oh my God. He's looking up the uh, the, the um, soundtrack. The song. The Field soundtrack. Field of Dreams, soundtrack. I mean, you need to know, like, there is a couple, just in life, your kid should know about Field of Dreams and the references and stuff. Yeah, yes, you should. Dun, 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 dun. What's the, hold on, let's see. I think you're thinking. <laughs> or am I thinking of the. the yeah, you, you are, you are. What's the Robert Redford movie? Yeah, the Natural. That's the natural? that's that's my movie that, that I always, that's in my mind right now. That's what I alluded to earlier. The natural, with with the Wonder Bat and all that shit. I can't fucking. Or dreams come true. Look up, the natural. We can't even hear this. Uh, something's fu- something's fucked up. Okay. Anyway. <coughs> uh. Is it the natural. Is it the natural song? Yeah. That's what you're thinking. Of. <laughs> okay. Yes. And he hits it out of the light and, it and then. <laughs> okay. That's the that's the movie I always watch. Yeah, that that that's what I was talking about earlier. That should be on the list. Never mind. It might be. I'm not gonna look. Okay, Field of Dreams. 
Obviously, we got to co-sign that. Co-sign that. Now, Kevin Costner has some sort of uh, affinity for baseball movies. He's been I believe, a, a now, you can fact check me here. I believe he I was will, a, a legit uh, Cal State Fullerton player. Oh. Did Kevin I Costner play for Cal State Fullerton? Play baseball. He was a legit player, I believe. Let's see. Wikipedia or 17 things you probably didn't know about Kevin Costner? It's it's I'm going on Wikipedia. Let's go Wikipedia. No. Nope. Uh, several of Costner's films have included a baseball theme, Chasing Dreams, Bull Durham, Field of Dreams, For the Love of the Game, The Upside of Anger, all three which the characters are either a pro or a former baseball player. Uh, Costner, he is a partial owner in a minor or an independent baseball team. Okay. And his... Cl- uh, he's close friends with former Longhorns baseball coach Augie uh, from Cal State Fullerton, his alma mater. Oh. Uh, Costner walked on for a tryout but did not, did not make the team for the early time at his university. Oh, man. Damn it. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, Cerny. Where's the... Boop, boop. <laughs> I needed some more. Bougie bitch. There you go. <laughs> Take that. Um. <coughs> okay. Well, he never played baseball, but he tried and unsuccessfully. Now, one thing I did appreciate about his movies when he would play baseball, it wasn't so like when you watch some baseball movies that can't even fucking throw right. Oh you yeah. know, and they just look so fake. When they when they swing and like they hit, and it, you tell it's like a pop up to the right. catcher, and it's <laughs> like <laughs> and they show the ball going yeah. to the fans, like ball, like, ball. Only ground out to short. He grounded to a six four three double play, not a walk off granny. Field of Dreams, 100% co Cosine, cosine, yes. Duh. 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 Thank you. <coughs> oh, boy. Bull Sorry. Durham. No. 42. The Jackie Robinson story. <laughs> or, no, the, sto- the true story of American legend. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't seen that I movie. I haven't seen this movie either. <laughs> oh, man. Now. We sound terrible right now. I just I saw the previews and this movie came out only a couple years ago, 2013. Okay. I wasn't Let's scan four years ago. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't like and in very m- intrigued to see the movie. You know, I but fuck, I think it was like second grade, I think I did like a Jackie Robinson report. Uh-huh. So I read the book, you know, the Jackie Robinson book and did all that shit. I don't know. So I just when I saw the the previews, it's like I know the story. Yeah, every I guess maybe that's it. We already know. I mean, they so there's Jackie Robinson Day. There's all this yeah. stuff. Yeah, and and, and you had to we had to do. I mean, we had to do a, a whole, whole yeah. bunch of shit with Jackie Robinson going growing up. I think I know I did. I don't know. About yeah. You. So uh, when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I know, I know the story. Um, maybe I should watch it. I mean, I don't think I should. I mean, I heard seeing it was the great. trailer and not being so. Like, oh, I got to see that. Like, maybe maybe I was thinking more along your lines. Like, I already know <laughs> about it. I know the story, yeah, so I didn't want to. But from RZ Cole's point here, your son, he's not, he didn't kind of grow up learning all about Jackie Robinson. That's true. It might be a good. I do, ooh, I do like that point because I, I bet you they don't. I mean, they're not the Rotten Tomatoes. Let yeah, me look up what right 42 got. Oh, who, who gave that, who gave that, that movie right. a bad score? Racist. <laughs> How dare you? Racist. Hey, haters. <laughs> yep. 42. Let's see. Hold on. 92. All right. Cerny. 42. Hold on. Let me get oh, it. Oh, 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 the score is like, holy shit. Starting Chadwick Brosman. Bozeman. And Harrison Ford as Branch Rickey. Oh, okay. Okay. Cerny, what is your tomato meter? I'm saying 92. Certified fresh. Okay. 79%. Oh, 79. Oh, wow. Audience score 85% though. (laughs) Okay. Now Harrison Ford's in it, so. I may watch that. I might throw an eyeball on that. Just, just a good uh, to know. Is it now? Is it? Is it? 
just from the. So I also have. So we're Giants fans. I'm just gonna go right. I'm gonna go right to right now. Duh. And I, I, I sometimes like I, I find it hard to celebrate anything Dodgers. You chip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if there was a Sandy Koufax movie, I'd be I'd be pissing on the poster. Me too. Um, Don Drysdale pissing on yeah. the poster. Keith Hernandez, <laughs> <laughs> or what's the the um, or Horsheiser? Or Horsheiser. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you're talking about what's Osvaldo the Hernandez, the 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 screwball pitcher, the baby bull, or whatever they called him. No, the big uh, Latino guy that would had the crazy uh, kick. Oh, oh, Luis Tion? Is that what you're talking about? No. He's an old guy. I don't know. We should, my, I have a friend that's a big Dodgers fan. It's always. Uh. Actually, there was a stat. I, we were watching. We got a beer before the, the Nationals game the other day. The Nationals and Giants game. And the Dodgers, like, in between the 90s and the 00s, zero had, like, seven rookie of the years. I'm like well, that's that's or uh, <coughs> no Eric Carlos my Piazza oh, okay. Nomo like all these guys oh, right oh, oh, I fucking no Noah. no rings though no I'm rings like, no well, rings well that didn't fucking do you guys <laughs> any good though. um I guess I should watch this huh I I think I should watch it I, I've I'm been sure told it's on Netflix I'm sure it's on Netflix right oh I'm sure and uh, they always do uh, okay I mean if I had a son that was I I agree me, because I think it's probably good I it's a good. I think in our era we grew up with that, yeah. where we had to. I remember we had to do. Remember we had to do reports yeah. on people. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. No, Jack Robinson always came up, so I remember doing a report. I was like, oh, I remember seeing him. Like, nah, I saw it. I yeah. already know this. I'm like, oh, yeah. And but it is a good foundation, and because anyone coming into baseball now is, you know, race or nationality doesn't really. There's there's such a melting pot in the MLB. Yeah. Yeah, that it's I not think a, it's not a thing. It's not a th- it's not a real thing. Um, I mean, I'm, and again, we're talking at least in this area. Yeah, and in, in where we live, because I know, um, you know, I we got I got a little league games and stuff. Yeah, and uh, it's not, it's never come up where it's like, well, he's uh, he's black, so he's got to be good. Right. It's just you know whatever their skill base. They actually legitimately judge him off of okay their skill base. So yeah. it's it's never. And I mean, when they're watching TV, that's just little like, Billy. Yeah. You know, it's not. <laughs> it's not oh, the first black little leaguer. Yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. It, you know. So maybe they, maybe I, sh- you know, they should see that <laughs> at one point it was it, a huge, it was an issue, a big yeah. deal. Yeah, and an issue that's history, so you don't repeat yourself. And uh, okay, I'll sign that. Okay. Well, I guess we have some homework. We, we do. Forty-two. Now I go the ahead. natural. For some reason, I don't know what it is. I do love that movie. That's not on here. There is one honorable <coughs> mention though. Go on. Well, hold on. We're not to Bull Durham yet. <laughs> <laughs> so eight-year-old Bull Durham. No. I'm pretty liberal as far as uh, language and movies, but well, fuck it. I would probably let an eight-year-old do it. But uh, I mean, I, I'll 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 play it. I mean, the played. TBS version. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I played a lot of. I played South Park for my <laughs> for oh, my yeah. five year old. <laughs> what we're was was my greatest decision? We're not de- we're not <coughs> like the best. Censor. Yeah, yeah, we will censor. Now, Bull Durham. I hadn't seen that. I would say that's probably my top. It's in one of my top five movies. Baseball movies. No, just movies in general. Oh. I don't, it's know, top I don't know if it's my top, top five. Ten, top ten. Okay. okay. I'll re- I'll <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I stand correct. I do. Again, nat- the natural. I don't know what it is. I do love that movie. I don't know why. Um, you, got ru- you got a thing for Robert Redford? No, I think it's. I think it's that lady he was seeing. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had no. I uh, actually the shyster lady. <coughs> um. I did like that movie. I did like. I've never seen The Natural. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think I have. Yeah, eighty four. There's no way I would have saw <laughs> this movie. I always watched it. It was always on, and I, it, my dad would always watch it. Oh, Duvall, Glenn. Co- you had a thing for Glenn Close. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. 
Huh. No. Was not Glenn Close. Crash Davis. Okay. All right. I'll read a little bit about what R.Z. Cole says about Bill Durham. Okay. Yeah, showing it to his eight-year-old son. I think, I mean, I would show him. I don't I don't know. My, my thing is, There's I don't There's a couple, like, very uh, more adult stuff in that movie, for sure. Yeah, I just don't know if the movie could hold his attention. Yeah. I mean, they're he banged they're her in the kitchen, too. Remember that? Yeah, I do remember yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> Susan Sarandon. Was she ever... <coughs> Not in my book, but... Like, even in her the, her hayest of heyday. I don't know if I can do fuckable? it. Fuckable? No. no. So fuckable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't... Is it she's a ginger? Is that why? Duh. Duh. Well, no, because <coughs> as is known, I do like the gingers. You do like the gingers. She's. I think it's her fate, like her face and her yeah, butt, the, butt and the curls. And uh, no, no. All right. <coughs> now, RZ Cole, sorry if I slaughter some of your, your uh, wordsmithing here, but uh, no, we'll not be watching Bull Durham together this year. It was not a snap decision. It's probably my favorite movie within the genre. I assume that's baseball movies. Okay. And I'm obviously not alone in this assessment. Uh, my reluctance stems from not discovering with the overtly sexual sexuality of the film i don't think he would be damaged by his raunchiness mm. so much as embarrassed he hides his high he hides his eyes at the mere hint of mushiness in any context i just don't think i'm quite ready to expose him to the less than glamorous underbelly of the professional sports world as depicted here hmm. interesting so okay i see where he's coming from as an eight-year-old you're very much your role models, Buster Posey, or this person, yeah, or that yeah. person, and here you're seeing Buster Posey coming up through the <coughs> ranks, sort of, you know. Yeah. Not him the in particular. The bus and all that shit. Yeah. yeah. Or you know, have weird sex. I'm, I'm gonna sidetrack this real quick. Okay. Let's get it. I love sidetracks. Um, so I have a bunch of baseball cards. So it, so Zach was looking through them. And he showed me this card. Eight, he said, what, "How old is he again?" He's ten. Ten. Okay. And he said, "He l- he pulled up this card and he says, look at this fake team. This is this is I've never seen this fake team before.' And it was the Montreal Expos." Oh. <laughs> 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 and I said, "Okay, that's not a real team anymore. Well, it is. Right. It's the Nationals, but that was a team." He says, a "Fake team." No, I've never seen a team before. I said, well... Fake news, fake news, fake news. Well, that team was <laughs> around before you were alive. <laughs> I was like, fuck. What, are we old? Did you feel old about yeah, I, that? I did, I did. Fake team. Like, why were they fucking printed up on a card then? A card, you know, because like, he's like... Because he couldn't... Like he couldn't yeah, yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, it was... Uh, yeah. It, I think it was uh, Randy Johnson. Was he Expo? Mark Vies It was. It was a card. He, like, pulled it up. I was like... Yeah. So look at this fake team. I was like, look, I was like, no, that that was, that was a real team. It's not a fake team. <laughs> it's not a triple A team. I don't have cars yeah. triple A. <laughs> okay, so eight, your ten year old, your eight year old, your five year old comes to you. I want to let's watch Bull Durham DVD. Full glory, full sense. So anybody knows CERN, pop it in. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that too, but. I could see where he's coming from. I I do. I I, I see where he's, he's coming a from. Parent than us. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> I, I watched South Park. My five year old. Now, honorable mention. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta take quite the stance against this. Okay. Fever pitch. Okay. No. Jimmy no. Fallon I d- I, d- I don't co-sign more? this. I don't co-sign this at Where, all. Do we have a boo drop? <laughs> yeah, boo. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'd like to give a shout out to Feature Fever Pitch. Not necessarily as a title to share with one's kid, though they certainly enjoy it, but as one to try out on a significant other. Okay. If ever given an opportunity for a baseball fanatic to win a skeptical partner over for their cause, this is it. It's actually an adaption of a British soccer film featuring the same storyline it's conveniently the same title. That I, I, I get where know. he's coming from. I'm still not co-signing. Was that Jimmy Fallon's like only movie? With the was it Drew Barrymore? Yeah. Yeah. No. Boo. Um. I don't. 
Let's see what. Got to do the natural. Now, if you're, now your lady is very. She would probably watch the natural to 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 appease you. Now, if you were trying to hook, line, and sinker a new woman and do baseball, and she's like, oh, I don't know anything about baseball, you know, kind of this type of thing. Uh, maybe. I, j- I, I, I hate these kind of movies. I would rather say for the love of the game or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> okay. Fever pitch, RottenTomatoes.com, tomato meter. What say you, sir? 61. Ooh. Audience score? 64. Audience score 60. <sighs> Tomato meter 65%. No. <sighs> Very good. It was oh, Jimmy Fallon. Okay. Well, the guys, I remember seeing this movie. I just was not a fan. Now, here is some baseball movies according to Google. Okay, I'm ready. Field of Dreams. We already got that taken care of. Yes. Bull Durham. League of their own. Taken care of, taken care of. The natural. Yeah, I need to watch this, one. I guess. It's it's kind of a cheesy, like he hits it and he hits the lights and the fucking right. lights are like but it's dun, 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 with the with the wonder dun. bat and shit and he yeah. has like a stab wound and the whole sort of shit. Stab wound? You know, like a fucking Military wound. Is, uh, uh, you gotta see, you gotta see it, you gotta see it. Okay. Eight men out. Uh oh, is that the uh Shilu Show Jackson uh movie? Oh, I thought that's uh, the Field of Dreams. Eight Man Out? I think that's the uh, oh, Black Sox, Yeah, right? Black Sox. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good. I've seen that movie. That's actually a decent movie. Ooh, I do like that movie, too. My dad liked to watch it, too. Okay. Go on. Major League. Oh, fucking, that's a <laughs> solid movie right there. It is there. a solid movie. <laughs> Heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, do you think an eight-year-old would... No. At, okay. A major league is a bit much for an eight year old. What's that? That's probably an R movie for sure, right? I would still play it. Maybe wait till they're ten. Oh, because remember Bob Barker or the announcer gets all oh fucking yeah, blitzed. Yeah. <laughs> this it's not Bob Barker. It's uh just a bit outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's he wow. just retired. Hey. They tried to have him. Uh, they there was a big like push. You make my heart sing. There was a big push. Oh, right, when the Indians were in the World Series to have him... To have him yeah. announce it instead of Joe Buck. Fuck Joe Buck. Yeah, Joe Buck sucks. Where do I have... Duh. Duh. Yeah. So while Fuck you're, that chipper guy. I'll look it up real quick. Okay. Uh, Moneyball. Uh, Brad Pitt, did you ever see that movie? Yeah, I did. I wasn't like a... Did you read the book? No. I read the book. It was all right. For the love of the game, I like that one. That was probably my... Fr- that w- that's a good one. Uh, I do like that movie. Angels in the Outfield? Uh, uh, I think it was too cheesy for me. It was a bit cheesy. Uh, the Rookie, Dennis Quaid. What do you think about that one? I don't think I've ever seen it. Where he's like an old dude, and he gets Tommy John, and he never pitches. Or he like retires. Oh, Bob Euclid. Uh, sure. That's that's the uh, just a bit of uh, Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Uh, so the rookie, the rookie's a good one for the kid. Kind of shows you that like your dreams can never, you know, there's always hope. Uh, the Sandlot rookie of the year. Okay, Sandlot is decent. Oh, I said Sandlot's great. Rookie of the year, I'm, I'm talking about. It's decent. Yeah, it's kind of silly. Like pitcher's got a big butt, you know, all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, and it was very much like I felt around that time period. There was all these like kids doing adult things. Like a kid and an adult. Oh, a 12-year-old is the CEO of a company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, what's he going to do? Bubble gum for everyone. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. Breaks the fourth wall. Crazy. Uh, Mr. Baseball with Tom Selleck. (laughs) I've never seen that. Uh, I did see that. Uh, Little Big League. I don't know who's in that one. Mr. 3000 with Bernie Mac, Major League Two. Oh, rip, rip. Yep. Uh, bench warmers with fucking. Oh, you know what? I never. Okay, so I have this vendetta against the Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, he's in that. <laughs> he is. And so is Rob Schneider. Yes. So I I I opted to to, to protest that you one. Passed on that one. <laughs> I did. And other than that, there's not. 
I'm not. I'm scrolling through all these baseball movies. I'm not seeing like a lot of great ones. Uh, there is the sixty one Asterix, which I think was an HBO movie. The Roger Maris story. Yeah, I think. And then there's a uh, yeah. Other than that, I'm not seeing. And there's the fan with Wesley Snipes. <laughs> 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 I actually did see that movie. <laughs> so, what do you think in general? I think Chip and Cern are pretty in line with uh, what R.Z. Cole says here about is the kid ready for Bull Durham? I do. I'm in line with that. Can you slide in uh, some natural and I'll be uh, 100% in. But uh, I, I do agree with this list. And I would say Chip would like to see Major League slid in there. But the, t- the TNT, the TV version, TBS, Major League. Where they're cutting out the titties. Where oh, where like they're pulling off the every time yeah. they win or and, whatever. And yeah, they're cutting. You know, they're cutting the like the real raunchy stuff out. So the TV version, Major League, I think is good. Okay. Pass. I well, obviously we have some homework. I need to watch. Chip needs to watch League of Their Own. Probably I haven't seen the OG Bad News Bears, and Forty Two. Chip and Cern both need. Yeah, to watch Chip and Cern needs to watch Forty Two. I I agree. I will be watching Fever Pitch again. I think I saw that with my wife probably. You said you will be? I will not. Okay, I'm sorry. No. No, I, no. I cannot no. join you on that voyage. I will not watch that again. Um Yeah. Is when summer's the best is a good time for baseball movies. It is. It's, it's baseball's going. It's hot outside. Now your wife's how much, like, on a 1 to 10, how much is she into baseball? <sighs> 10, meaning she's there. She's like, Buster Posey hit 321 last season, uh, 34 jacks. Um, Let's say she's a 4. A 4. Yeah. Will she, now, this is from an outside looking in, if you have the game on TV, she's sort of, like, complaining about it. She'd rather have a fucking life. Yes, 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 yes. Now. But she'll tolerate, and she'll... Ask the occasional question as to why this happened. And she enjoys watching the kids play baseball. Yes. Okay. Um, Now, if you were to watch, like, oh, you want to watch Bull Durham with me? She'll watch, yeah, she'll watch a baseball movie. Okay. So you wouldn't have to, like, pick a baseball movie to watch. Would you go Bull Durham? I think I'll go Natural. natural I'll go Natural first. Or uh, for the love of the game is good too, I think. Maybe for her, she m- I might have to start off with the love of the game, just to just to like hook her in, because that has that is definitely more of the. I will not do the her religion. Pitch, no, no uh, hard pass on that. <laughs> um, great, yeah. Well, again, fan of the show, RZ Cole, on Twitter and on Medium, you can find his uh, literary works. On there. Now you can find Chip and Cern literary works on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, limited to 140 characters, of exactly. course. Exactly. Um, or you can find us at uh, Chip and Cern Show at gmail.com if you want to email us, or Chip and com <coughs> if you want to check out our site. You can click on menu, episodes, mm. scroll down, find all the episodes that you want. Um, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Anything Chip and Cern Show, just Google us, Chip and Cern Show. Um, what else, Chip? Oh, you can find us. Um, you can buy some uh, swag or just tweet us. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll well, we have a, a Black Friday sale, yeah. Chip and Cern Show uh, dot com slash shop shirts and stickers. And lids. We have a couple of lids oh, left. We do have a couple of lids left. Very good. I mean, I wear my lid all, all the time. It's actually... It, not much sweating. Like, it doesn't show sweat stains it does you know, not, in the summer and stuff. I have mine on all the you time. Do. Looks good, sir. You look like a million bucks. I do. Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, hot where I live and it and does not have any sweat stains. Yeah. Uh, great. And until next time, I'm Chip. I'm Sir. Cheers. <laughs>